What is good guys, Matt from Jelly Gaming here giving you another video and this one is talking about the PS4 Pro and um, there possibly being a price drop in coming in this holiday season. Now it's been kind of rumoured and talked about by, um, I think Michael Pachter actually said that there is a possibility of um, the PS4 Pro actually having a price cut in the holiday season and this kind of goes against... Uh, so I think Sony saying at E3 that there won't be a PlayStation 4 Pro price drop. Now, obviously, I'll get into that in a second. But I'm going to give my opinion, and then I'm going to talk about uh, whether this is possible or not. And I'm going to go on to say why Sony probably would not um, would not actually say there would be a price drop, at least not straight away. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to do that in order in any sense of the word. Now, if we look back to E3, and if I can get my... Um, my article up, which magically disappeared. I think I actually covered this in either a Duality Gaming Control podcast, which obviously you should go check out, or I did in a separate video. But um, Piranha Byte Studio has said that although the Xbox One's price tag is reasonable for what it offers, a PlayStation 4 Pro price drop could be uh, troublesome for the console. Now, he this is actually going off there being a possible $50 price drop with the um, PlayStation 4 Pro, which I believe Michael Pactor said recently. And I don't know how recent that was, obviously, I'm sorry. Um, I feel, in my opinion, that Sony will do a price drop for the PlayStation 4 Pro because obviously they can't compete with the Xbox One in terms of performance, that's just a fact. But what they can do is cut the price. And if they cut it by $50, I believe it's $350 in the US, so that would go down to $300 and it's $300. 40 in the UK, so I don't know, maybe I'd go down to £300. If it goes down to 280 then I believe the PlayStation 4 Pro will actually sell quite well. Now, apparently the PlayStation 4 Pro doesn't actually sell as well as everyone thinks it does, at least on the internet thinks it does. Um, apparently, it sells, uh, for, it's like 1 in 4, so it's about 25% of market share since last year, since it came out last year. Now, obviously, uh, this holiday season will mark the one year anniversary of the PlayStation 4 Pro coming out and I believe if Sony actually price drop it they provide a cheaper alternative to 4k now what I mean by that is obviously you don't get a 4k blu-ray drive which for some unknown reason everyone acts like that was some massive selling point and it's some fucking big uh, conspiracy I don't think it is and honestly I don't believe most people use that if I'm perfectly honest uh, with so many movie streaming services and the fact that you can stream Netflix 4k and you can play your games at a reasonable resolution revolu resolution I can't speak today of 1440p or 1800p or 4k in most cases um checkerboarded 4k I believe if you actually if they price drop this it will become troublesome for the Xbox one because this holiday season if you have two 4k systems okay that are marketed at 4k no matter what Michael Pactor said about the whole um, PlayStation 5 being fully aimed at 4K. Uh, I don't fully agree with him saying that it's going to come out in 2019. Personally, uh, I'll get into that in a minute. I believe that the PlayStation 4 Pro probably will have a price cut in this holiday season. One, to help sales of the PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, two, to keep competitive with Microsoft. And three, obviously to keep competitive with Nintendo to a certain extent because if you have a premium product like that and you start to bring it back that and if you start to bring the price down sorry if you can hear wind by the way and all that my room is hot as fuck and as i've said in previous videos i'm not going to sweat my bollocks off for people that's just not who i am uh, obviously you got um i do feel to keep competitive it would help obviously you got this developer also saying that um it will be a big problem for microsoft it is a nice my xbox one is a very powerful machine but if you've got two things marketed at 4K and one is £100 or $100 cheaper, I think people will gravitate towards more the PS4 Pro and not really care for, you know, those 360 pixels that aren't there or, you know, it's 1440p rather than the 4K. I think people will want that just because it will be a cheaper alternative to having 4K gaming. I believe you can have your 4K streaming at a cheaper price. And I don't really feel, in my opinion that Microsoft really gave people a reason to buy the Xbox One X. Yes, some of the games were nice. Uh, they love to spew the 4K60 thing, but we didn't see 4K60 for most games. That is due to the CPU rather than the GPU, because there's only so much um, the GPU can push without the CPU trying to help, well, without it pushing it as well. It's kind of like a machine, like cogwheels. In my, it's the easiest way I can actually think of it. So, in my opinion, I do think Sony will 
uh, price drop the PS4 Pro. I actually said it from E3. I don't think they were going to say at E3, and that's purely on the fact that they're going to want people to buy that PS4 Pro at that price as long as they can until the holiday season, and then they will drop it down at the holiday season to make it look more enticing to the consumer. Now, if you just said, oh, there's going to be a price drop in the holiday season, what does that do for the PlayStation 4 Pro sales in the summer? No one's going to buy it because they're going to be like, well, you know, I'll just wait until the summer. Or not the summer, fucking, I'll wait until the holiday to pick up a PS4 Pro. And obviously Sony don't want a slot down in their sales and they don't want to affect their marketing like that. Now, I don't get why people kind of jumped on the bandwagon of, oh, Sony aren't going to price drop this, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not how, that's not how marketing works. They're not just going to be like, okay, we're going to price drop this. Um, I know people like to think that companies are nice and they give a shit for the, these people that want to go fight other people because of these pieces of plastic, but they don't, right? At the end of the day, it's business. Uh, so in my opinion, I do think the um, Piranha Bytes uh, developer does have a point it will be very troublesome for the xbox one x in my opinion i know that may offend some xbox one fanboys in some form i don't know how but you know on the internet everything offends everyone now um so yeah uh, to conclude this kind of rambly fact i think the playstation 4 pro will see a price drop hopefully of 50 dollars if not more that would be nice because it will cater to, it still caters to the 4K market, regardless of what people like to say. Uh, obviously, if you want to see what people think about the Xbox, uh, the PS4 Pro and how it's not 4K, even though there are 4K games, uh, go on Digital Foundry's page and look up um, Final Fantasy XII, the Zotac Age, because apparently a game running at four, uh, 1440p 30 is disgraceful for the PS4 Pro, but then it, you got Shadow of Mordor that's at 4K, you've got The Last of Us that's at 4K, you've got Kingdom Hearts that are 4K. And notice that, um, I noticed Kingdom Hearts, I noted Kingdom Hearts as another Square game. I believe that Final Fantasy XII was just a, uh, a quick port compared to what they could possibly do, especially considering the age. So yeah, tell me what you think. I believe that um, there will be a price drop, especially with all the other games coming out. Sony are definitely going to want those people to see the games in their most crispest form. So, but yeah, anyway, tell me what you think down below. If you like the video, you know, you know what to do, all that jazz. And ultimately, guys, take care.